This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a kryptonite keychain bike lock that I got on eBay, but I believe was packaged for sale at Walmart. You can tell because bike locks sold at Walmart have a security rating scale that looks like this, regardless of the maker. That helps consumers compare products among various brands. But it occurs to me that this 4 out of 5 high security rating also conceals something. It conceals that this is a low-end product among kryptonite locks that are not sold at Walmart. Now when I bought this online, I thought it was a new product, but now that I have it in my hands, it seems pretty much identical to the kryptonite TKO chain lock that I featured in video 698. The one difference is the color of the plastic. The TKO has a gray end cap, but everything else appears to be the same. Now I think the weak link of the package is most likely going to end up being the links of the chain. They're 8 millimeters thick and almost certainly within the capabilities of most bolt cutters, so that should be a concern. Another potential concern is the spring-loaded locking lug in here. That's theoretically shimmable, but Kryptonite seems to have done a fair job burying it in the lock body and protecting it, so shimming will be fairly difficult. The core in here is a disc detainer design with just six discs, which is definitely on the low end. However, it doesn't tension from the front disc, which makes it a bit harder to pick, but it still won't slow down an experienced picker for very long. So let's see what it takes to get into this. The first thing we're going to do is rotate all of those discs as far clockwise as they will go. Then I'm going to get the pick that Bosnian Bill and I made, pick up disc number one, then we can find disc number two and get to picking. Okay, two seems loose. So does three, four, five is binding. Nice click there. Six feels like it's in a gate. Back to the beginning. One feels loose. I'm sorry, that was two. Three feels like it could be in a gate. Four is binding. Nice click there. Five feels set, and so does six. Two, nice click there. A little bit of movement on the core. Three feels set. Four feels set, five feels set, so does six. Okay, six is a zero cut. So let's tension off of him and try to set disc one. I think we did just that. Yep, we got this open. Okay, folks, as you saw, this was not terribly difficult to pick, though the skills and tools required to do so aren't terribly common. For that reason, I see attacks on the chain as the real threat to this product. While it's certainly far better than something like a cable, 8mm links are generally vulnerable to bolt cutters. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.